So, I decided that since I made those videos about bipolar disorder, that I was also going to read from the DSM-5, um, the other disorders that I've talked about on my channel. I mean, there's all kinds of different things in here, but I'm only going to focus on what I struggle with, um, because I can't really relate to anything else since I don't experience that. <clears throat> and I'm going to start with panic disorder. And I just want to say up front that according to this book, um, panic attacks are not considered a disorder. They, um, they can occur with other anxiety disorders, but in and of themselves, they are not a disorder, according to this, just so you know. All right, let's go. Panic disorder. A, recurrent unexpected panic attacks. A panic attack is an abrupt surge of intense fear or intense discomfort that reaches a peak within minutes and during which time four or more of the following symptoms occur. Note, the abrupt surge can occur from a calm state or an anxious state. One, palpitations, pounding heart, or accelerated heart rate. Two, sweating. Three, trembling or shaking. Four, sensations of shortness of breath or smothering. Five, feelings of choking. Six, chest pain or discomfort. Seven, nausea or abdominal distress. Eight, feeling dizzy, unsteady, lightheaded or faint. Nine, chills or heat sensations. Ten, um, I don't know what that word is, but it basically means numbness or tingling sensations. Eleven, derealization, feelings of unreality or depersonalization, being detached from oneself. 12, fear of losing control or going crazy. 13, fear of dying. Note, culture-specific symptoms, example, tinnitus, neck soreness, headache, uncontrollable screaming or crying may be seen. Such symptoms should not count as one of the four required symptoms. B. At least one of the attacks has been followed by one month or more of one or both of the following. B. Persistent concern or worry about additional panic attacks or their consequences. Example, losing control, having a heart attack, going crazy. Okay. Two. A significant maladaptive change in behavior related to the attacks. Example, behaviors designed to avoid having panic attacks, such as avoidance of exercise or unfamiliar situations. C. The disturbance is not attributable to the physiological effects of a substance. Example, a drug of abuse, a medication, or another medical condition. Example, hyperthyroidism, cardiopulmonary disorders. D. The disturbance is not better explained by another mental disorder. Example, the panic attacks do not occur only in response to f feared social situations, as in social anxiety disorder, in response to circumscribed phobic objects, or situations as in specific phobia, in response to obsessions as in obsessive compulsive disorder, in response to reminders of traumatic events as in post-traumatic stress disorder, or in response to separation from attachment figures as in separation anxiety disorder. And this next part is panic attack specifier. Note, symptoms are presented for the purpose of identifying a panic attack. However, panic attack is not a mental disorder and cannot be coded. Panic attacks can occur in the context of any anxiety disorder as well as other mental disorders, 
example, depressive disorders, post-traumatic stress disorder, substance use disorders, and some medical conditions. Example, cardiac, respiratory, vestibular, gastrointestinal. When the presence of a panic attack is identified, it should be noted as a specifier. Example, post-traumatic stress disorder with panic attacks. For panic disorder, the presence of panic attack is contained within the, I think it's supposed to say criteria, but it says criteria <laughs> for the disorder and panic attack is not used as a specifier. An abrupt surge of intense fear or intense discomfort that reaches a peak within minutes and during which time four or more of the following symptoms occur. Note the abrupt surge can occur from a calm state or an anxious state. And then it just goes back into um, what I just said with the symptoms and stuff. So just to reiterate, panic attacks is not considered an actual disorder. It is in conjunction with another disorder such as post-traumatic stress disorder. Okay. So, I hope that was helpful. And you know, I don't even know if I fit the criteria for this anymore. Because I used to have panic attacks all the time. But I had one, one last year. And I had one once so far this year. So, I don't even know if I really fit the criteria, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting better. Alright, so that's the end of this video, and I'm going to go on to the next one. <laughs>